we all come to a point in our life where we're trying to figure things out, figure out who we are. Where does religion, where does spirituality fit in our lives? I'm a perfectionist. It's been a huge struggle for me to have absolutely no control over the way I envisioned my life would be and just trusting that God has a plan. It's been very hard for me. And of course, I have this vision of my life. I want four to six kids. So we start trying. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's no problem to fix, which would make things a lot easier if there was a problem to fix. In the midst of all this infertility, I have a sister who's 18 months younger than me. And one day I get a phone call from my mom. Kayla, I have something to tell you. And I just knew, I just started crying. And I just said, no, no, mom, no. And she said, yeah, I'm sorry, Dahlia's passed away. And I'm struggling to have a baby. I'm struggling to, um, you know, bring this beautiful spirit into our home and have this home and, and I'm doing all the things. And then I lose my sister, you know? So in my mind, I'm like, you, God doesn't want to give me a baby. God wants to take my sister. I stopped talking to him. I stopped praying. I didn't want anything to do with it because why? What, what good is it doing me? I didn't like the person I was becoming because not only was I not praying and I didn't want to talk to him, but when I was out and about and I was around people who were pregnant or talking about pregnancy, I, I envied them. and I, I didn't like the feeling in my heart that I was having. And it wasn't me. I knew it wasn't me. My husband said to me, Kayla, God doesn't care if you're mad and angry. He wants you to talk to him either way. So I got down on my knees and I started praying. I let it all out. I just, I yelled. I said, I'm angry. I don't want to talk to you. And then when I got done praying, I thought, gosh, that felt good. And I felt some sort of peace from that, which was like, okay. If I felt peace yelling at God in my prayers, that must mean that He's happy I'm talking to Him. He's happy to hear from me. Not just the good things. We don't just pray when things are going good. We're supposed to pray when things are hard. We're supposed to pray when, when we don't want to. Because He knows us. He knows our heart. He knows all of our trials, all of our sorrows, all of the pain that we're going through. He already knows. Sometimes we focus so much on, well, if God can make this happen, then why isn't He making it happen? And I'm starting to ac accept more that maybe my life isn't going to be what I envisioned and what I wanted, what I think I deserve, but it's okay. I feel peace in the trials that I've had because of the overwhelming amount of love that I feel from my Savior and His grace. So I feel like I can, I can get through anything.